Oh, hello. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Welcome to my tutorial. I am going to show you guys today what we can do with Railcraft Charge because you now need Railcraft Charge to power Railcraft machines. You cannot just directly plug RF energy into them anymore or use a uh, immersive engineering re relay. Uh, so what you need to do first is of course have a source of RF energy. I am using Extra Utilities 2 generators. I have a uh, culinary generator and a survival generator here both have a lot of energy in them and what you're going to also need is of course your machine that you're going to put stuff in as you can see I have 32 cobble in this and it has not moved at all and you will then need to make what is called a flux transformer this is going to tra transform your energy into the correct energy that you will be using so convert your RF into ch what is called Railcraft Charge since they've made up their own type of energy because every mod pack wants to do that for some reason. I just realized I have no volume though. Okay, whatever. We don't need volume anyways. So you'll need to make a bunch of these flux transformers. You do need it to be this big. It needs to be a two by two square as you can see one two one two one two one two so you'll need eight blocks total if you look at the recipe here it actually makes two at a time so you'll need to make this recipe four times it's pretty cheap it's just redstone gold to make gold plates uh brass to make the charge terminal and you need copper to make these little charge spools but you need a rolling machine to make the spools, which is just bronze and some pistons and whatnot. So it's pretty cheap. Uh, you need all f all it to be in this shape because as soon as you add the last one, bam, it'll have a little animation. And that's how you know it works now. You'll then have to make these things called charge shunting wires. They're basically just Railcraft's wires. They're, they're, uh, they make eight at a time. They look very similar to transfer pipes from Extra Utilities 2, as you can see. And they're also pretty cheap, other than the large spool is made out of a block of copper, which is kind of expensive, but whatever. Uh, you just plug that into your transformer and connect it to whatever machine you have. For instance, I have a Railcraft Rock Crusher right here that I need in my expert mode server. So this is what I'm doing. Uh, and then you need to plug it in with your RF. I'm going to show you two ways you can do this that I found out at least. And both ways are through immersive engineering and extra utilities. And uh, to show you that works, I will uh, put down a MV wire connector, a MV relay. And if you can see, I've got 9,000, almost 10,000 RF in the survival generator. If I connect it to the transformer, then bam, it made gravel just like that. Now, if you want to try if you don't want to use immersive engineering because you might not like the cables or you might not want to make insulated cables maybe you just don't want to you can also use extra utilities energy through a extra utilities transfer node energy these are a bit more expensive because it costs gold a bunch of transfer node items would cost cost much more redstone as well as the up speed upgrade which costs diamonds and upgrade base and whatnot i am in expert mode so that recipe might be different but either way you'll then have to attach transfer pipes to the x utilities cable and bam that should drain out all of our energy and boom works just like that so it's super simple uh, I tried like for an hour to look this up, so that's why I'm making this video. I hope this helps you guys out. If you have any other further questions, leave a comment, leave a like, and uh, maybe subscribe. Think about that. Hmm? Check out some of my other content. The Shadow Show, as you can see. I hope I edited that in. Yeah, nice. Um, yeah, thank you. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye-bye. All right, that was nice.